Well, we're now AFC Wimbledon's goalkeeper, Nathan Broom. Broomy, good to see you back. Yeah. Back involved as well for the uh, Papa John's Trophy game at Portsmouth, part of the squad for that for tomorrow. How does it feel to be back? No, it's been nice. It's, uh, well, it's, I was actually back a bit early, <coughs> uh, earlier than expected, but no, it's been good. It's uh, no credit to me, so he put, put some, uh, some good work in with me. So, yeah. no, I feel good, fresh, ready to go and uh, get some games on me. How did the injury come about? Just remind us again. Uh, so it was, what, about 12 minutes in, in the Villa game, and uh, I passed it into Alf and basically just got over on my foot and just, yeah, not good. Uh, probably not help myself by playing the rest of the game, but, you know, when, when game time's limited, that's, that's what you do. It's a little bit the, the mentality within the squad at the moment, because, of course, to a far worse extent, you look at Will Nightingale and him playing from the second minute onwards yeah. with his knee at Bradford, of course, yeah. yeah. No, it's, you know, it's credit to the lads as well because, you know, we haven't, we haven't got the biggest squad in the world, but no, credit to them, you know, people are pushing through injuries and when they are injured, you know, putting the work in off the pitch, so. How do you feel now though? Um, it's, it's getting there, it's definitely getting there, you know, it's, it's not 100%, but, you know, things can be helped, like with, obviously, Will, Will Yaskalani going down, it's, you know, it, it forced me to come back a bit early. It's it's just one of them things. It happens in football, and but no, it's, it's getting there definitely. But definitely, able to be a part of the squad. Oh, hundred percent, yeah, hundred percent. It's it's fun to play. What about Bezos' methods, of course, because uh, he really does push you out there, doesn't he, from from day one? Yeah, big time. It's uh, he just treats you like you fit, and basically, if it's if he's pushing you too far, then it's it's up to you to say. But as you know, I'd, I prefer it that way. So it should be. Because even when you had the plastic boot on, you were out there diving around on the mat straight away, weren't you? Yeah, exactly. It's a, uh, it's the first time I've ever done that. But no, it's you know, it's like I say, it's it's just his way of getting, getting handling in and stuff like that. It's good, you know. It's I don't mind it. We've spoken about Will Yaskalainen as well, of course. He came in just as you got the injury. Now you're coming back. He's got an injury, an ankle injury as well. So yeah. what's the kind of dynamic been like between you guys? It's. It's just so unlucky, isn't it? It's, you, you can't write that stuff, but no, like I say it's part and parcel, and he's now doing what I was doing, so he's coming back, and it's uh, like sometimes we can end up with about eight of us out there, but no, it's all good, and I think he's progressing well, he ain't far off, so. How are you finding that between the two of you, though? Because I mean, it's, it does help you pushing each other on, yeah? Yeah, I think so, because it's like obviously I've been there, so I can help him, and you know. We've all had injuries, you know, tons included, so it's, you know, it's a keeper's union and we'll back each other up and stuff like that, so uh, it'll, it'll be fine, it'll be back. And to the other degree as well, of course, as well, with yourself, you've been pushing Nick Zanev from early on in the season and he's been pulling off some top-class saves recently. Yeah, well. he's been doing really well the last few games, really well, obviously the assist um, the other day, um, yeah, no, he's, he's doing really well. So what about this competition, because of course you've played in it so far for us, of course you say in the Aston Villa game, um, we're through, it has its detractors, but to be honest it's helped get a lot of our players like mm. Isaac Ogden, Dare, Kwaku Fringpong into first team football. Yeah, no, to me it doesn't matter, I'm getting into the game, do not matter whether it's, you know, this Papa John's Cup or an academy game, whatever, we get a game to game for me at the minute, especially with game time being limited, just got to, you know, go out there, enjoy it, take my opportunity and see what comes off it. Obviously we've got the FA Cup coming up, so it's got to be another target to, to get more games on there. And do you sense, of course, that perhaps if we gain a bit of momentum in this competition, you know, the lure of Wembley would attract a few more people, perhaps? Oh yeah, 100%, you know, it's, it's sort of the main goal of the Cup, you know, it's, it's, not, it's not the most attractive Cup, but if you, know, if you can get a game at Wembley, you, you won't say no to it. Stepping out of Portsmouth as well at Fratton Park, you know, it's a big ground as well. It's been a Premier League ground in the past, yeah, a lot yeah, of history. Yeah. Looking forward to that? Oh, definitely. It's, a, it's always been sort of a stadium that I've wanted to play at, funny enough. It's um, just one of them, you know, it's like a proper old fashioned quality stadium, so it's, it'll be a, be a great game. And of course, beyond that as well, you've already touched upon it, the FA Cup at the weekend. Yeah. Weymouth, um, everybody of course loves the FA Cup, mm. but of course there'll be a familiar face perhaps at the opposing yeah. end, Zaki Waller of course, our yeah. former goalkeeper. Yeah, it's, a, you know, it's another one that you come right in, it's typical. Uh, so no, it'll be nice to see him and you know, have a catch up and see how he's going on, but yeah, it should, uh, should be a good one.
because we talk about the GK Union here, and he trained with us for such a long time yeah. as well. It's part of the part of the FA Cup story, I guess, as yeah, you say. Yeah. No, it's good. It's uh, like I said, it'll be nice to see him. Then I'm sure him and Bees will have a catch up because what was it, eight years or something yeah, ridiculous? Maybe longer, yeah. So yeah, no, I'm sure it'll be good. Uh, good to catch up for him. So look, now you are back. Obviously, you want to get some game time against Portsmouth. What's the plan for the rest of the season with you? Um, it's a tough one. It's you know, it's obviously I came in here initially to fight with Tons, and you know, Tons has got a shirt, which you know, fair play to him. It's he's done well. Um, so now it's a case of do I stay and fight? You know, do I, do I go out alone? And it's it's a tough one, but you know, I, I lean on players like Percy and you know the experienced ones who who can really help and have helped me put my mind into you know what I think I should be doing. And you know, Bezos is obviously great. We had a good chat the other week, so no, whatever it'll be, it'll be. But you know, there'll be a plan in place. So you found that that good relationship there with Alex Pierce. Tell us a little bit more about that his experience. Yeah, there. no, it's it's same with like Woody and you know Pelly. It's the experience. That's, that's what they're there for. It's what they got brought in. It's to lean on them and you know it's people that you can look up to. I'm sure JC and you know all the young lads to do the same. And Bezos, as you said yourself as well. I mean, you know, he's got you down here. You, you're bedded in now, mm -hmm. and you always trust in his methods too. Yeah. Yeah, obviously it's. It's still tough. It's a different city. It's you know, it's it's not home, but it's it's helped me grow up, and it's like my girlfriend's down here. So it's it's you know, it's growing up, and it's like life experience. So it's it's another thing in my backpack that I can take away with me, definitely. How did you find that adjusting to life down here? Was it big? big um, definitely at first it was hard. Obviously, I was staying in a hotel for what two months or something. So. It's it's just different. It's you know, but slowly adjusting. Like I got the got my own little flat now and stuff like that. So like I said, we're getting there. We're getting there. Absolutely. So in the long run, on and off the pitch, it's it's coming together for you. Yeah, right? definitely, definitely. It's it, you know, it's it's still not smooth sailing, but it's just part and parcel, isn't it? Brilliant, Brimmy. Thanks very much. No, for nice your time. One. Cheers. Thank you.